Everything written about you is real. Demons tremble at your presence. What a mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything we feel about you is great. Oh, demons tremble at your presence. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything, everything written about you is great. And you got fire in your eyes. Nothing hides from you. You see everything. Even the deepest secrets of man expose every evil. Consume every wickedness. You are the all consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. All consuming fire. I worship you today. You are the all consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. You are the all consuming fire. I bow before your throne. You are the all consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. You got fire in your eyes. Nothing hides from you. You see everything. Even the deepest secrets of man. Expose every evil. Consume every wickedness. You are the your consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. And you got fire in your eyes. Nothing hides from you. We see everything. Even the deepest secrets of man. Expose every evil. Consume every wickedness. You are the all-consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Okay. In Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 24, a popular verse of scripture, shall the prey be taken from the mighty. All the love who captive delivered. We bring other translations and we begin to understand the proper meaning. Can plunder be re retrieved from a giant? Whereas prisoners of war got him back from a tyrant. That's another translation. Let's bring all the translations we can have so that we can understand what that... Can you take away a soldier's loot? Can you rescue the prisoners of a tyrant? Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captives just of the just be delivered? Mm. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captives be delivered? Meaning that there are people who are a prey. Okay, can the prey be taken from the mighty or the captives of the righteous delivered? Meaning there are people that are prey in the hand of the mighty. And there are people that are head bound lawfully. This is upon Mount Zion. Deliverance is coming your way. Deliverance is coming to your family. There are people that are in captivity lawfully. The, 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 the enemy has strategies of keeping people bound in captivity. Lawfully, either by ignorance. When a man is ignorant of the oppressions of wickedness and is under their bondage and their restriction, is held there lawfully. When a man willfully falls into the whims and caprices of the enemy, it comes under the lawful bondage of the same enemy. I need to establish something here. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10, we are for God. 
Philippians 2, 9 and 10. We have for God that highly exalted him and given him a name above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, of things on earth, and of things under the earth. That establishes to us that there is a, another world underneath the earth. I need you to understand that. Today, briefly, I don't have much time because upon my own, it's just a 30 minutes presentation. I'm going to be brief, but today I want to talk on freedom from spirit husbands and spirit wives. Freedom from spiritual husband and spiritual wives. Spiritual husbands and spirit wives. Spiritual marriage exists and it's real. Spirit husband, spirit wife. There's a Latin word for spirit husband and spirit wife. It is called incubus and succubus. Incubus and succubus. Incubus means to lie upon. To lie upon. Incubus, that's spirit husband. Then succubus means to lie under. That spirit wife. It's a Latin word. Incubus and succubus. To lie over or to lie upon. That's incubus. To lie under. That's succubus. Spir many people are bound by spiritual husbands and spiritual wives. A spiritual marriage has taken place. A wedding has taken place in the realms of the spirit. And there are several dimensions of this spiritual oppression. There are things God considers legal and there are things God considers illegal. And I know many people say, oh, I'm a believer, it's not true. But the truth is this. You must look at your life. It's time for, for, for us to fact check our life. The things happening in your life, are they normal? Let's not play games. Let's not pretend. You are due for marriage. Are you married? Stop looking at all of the excuses and all the so-called um, uh, uh, wishing away an excuse and trying to explain things away. You are supposed to have a child. The doctor say you are, you are okay. Your husband is okay. What is wrong? Why no child? There's the activity of a spirit husband and a spirit wife. You have come under the attack and limitation and imprisonment of a spirit husband and a spirit wife. And these things do exist and they are real. Many people are bound by it. One of the things we notice when a spirit husband or a spirit wife is in operation, one thing about such spirits is that they are very jealous spirits. They are very jealous spirits. That is why when a man has a spirit wife, he's, he's married, he's in trouble. When a woman has a spirit husband, the husband is in trouble. They will make him poor. They will make him broke. They will make him stranded. There are women today who are grown up. As soon as they get married, when they have sexual encounters with their husband, they are filled with pains. Some men are even attacked. I have seen situations where men are attacked. Where men are attacked by sexual intercourse with their own wife they married. Because the spirit husband is jealous. Why are you taking this from me? I know a lot of people say, oh, Apostle, Apostle, I'm a, I'm a Bible person. Everything you are saying, show me in the Bible. Show me in the Bible. In John 21, 25, the Bible says there are, many, there are also many things which Jesus did, which Jesus did, that if they, were, if they should be written, everyone, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. There are things about life. There are things in the days of Jesus that if everything was to be stipulated in the Bible, the Bible says there will not be books enough. So we're talking about fact-checking reality, things that happen in our natural life. When a person is under the oppression of demonic marriages. So I just explained to you, there's another world under the earth. And they operate spiritually. They are more spiritual than this world. We are too carnal and too... A flesh field, but there they understand the dimensions of the spirit. The dimensions of the spirit. When you're under the oppression of a spirit wife or husband, they will molest a physical marriage. They kill affection and promote aggression. One little crisis, you see the marriage is on fire. One little crisis, there's a marital outburst. They kill affection and they promote aggression. They kill affection and they promote aggression. You discover that your husband amplifies your error or your wife amplifies your error and simplifies your effort. When a spirit husband is in operation, a spiritual wife, they kill affection and they promote aggression. 
They promote retrogression. You notice you are going back. You are retrogressing. They promote depression. They delay reproduction. To have a baby, many people. I remember I was in Accra, Ghana one time, and I was ministering. I called for people who have been having sexual intercourse in the dream. When they came out, we discovered that 80% of them were expectant. They were expecting babies. So one of the things that promotes from fruitfulness, or they call, they call barrenness, is spiritual marriage. When a woman begins to see red objects in the dream, she sees stuff in the dream, she sees men chasing her, she sees blood in the dream. When all of those things are happening, please don't, don't try to wish it to explain it away. There's a spiritual marriage that needs to be broken. There are, there are, there are people who become bound by such spirits through sexual perversion. You know, sometimes when people are having, a, a, they go to bed at night. Some of them will go to bed. I'm going to explain that. At night, they see themselves having some sexual intercourse. They see a man comes to meet with them. A woman comes to meet with them. And they see it's a dream. No, no, it's not a dream. That thing that happened to you was real. The enemy only made you see the picture as a dream. What you had was a real encounter. The intercourse was real. But the enemy only showed you the picture as though you were dreaming. It was not a dream. It's like some people go to, who, who go to the, see themselves going to pass out urine, maybe in a restroom, in a place that they're familiar with, and then they see themselves passing out urine in the dream. Only to wake up, their bed is wet. So it was not a dream. You were actually doing that thing for real. There's no strategy you have not tried. You don't drink water when you're going to bed. You try not to take water. You try to train yourself. Where the water comes from when it's time for the encounter? You just see yourself going to and pa. No, that if you are going through all of that, there's a spiritual connection to those things. We have to address them. That is why I thank God from upon Mount Zion. There are things you are going to be looking into. That's why I tell you, uh, uh, we have I've told you I've gotten about five to six hundred um, partners just in less than a day. And let's please sign up for partnership now because we are going to have a group for our partners that are setting a, a link. We are having our teachings like this. Only partners will get access to such link. Only partners of Upon Mount Zion will get access to certain things. So different. Uh, the School of the Prophets, we have their partnership. Uh, of, um, Jehovah the Doctor, we have their partnership. Home on the Rock, we have their partnership. And there are benefits to enjoy. So if you are a partner, we are going to present that to you. And if you are not, sign up now. Send a mail. And say, I want to be a partner. We're going to group our partners. So every time a teaching is going on, we'll give them a Zoom link. So that they can participate live and we can minister to them consistently. It's very important. I don't have much time. Many people have become bound with this spirit. One of the ways to contact, <laughs> one of the ways to contact spiritual marriage or get into spiritual marriage is by ungodly events. Any funeral that is not Christianly, don't attend. And if you know, they have a time where they will dance, they will spray, they will uh, bring unbelieving musicians, and they will throw things in the air, they will carry masculine, all of those kind of events. Yam festival, Coco Yam festival, uh, corn festival, uh, uh, cow festival, all of those things. By the time you get into all of that, there are people that live in America, that live in London, that live in Asia. You see them travel down for Yam festival. Yam, yam, yam. Yam, you buy tickets for yam. Buy tickets, fly down 14 hours. What are you going to celebrate? Yam. Say, no, 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 apostle. Even though I'm a Christian, I'm a very traditional man. Continue, traditional man. When they keep you in bondage, you will run. When you enter into such atmosphere, spirit husbands and spirit wives, in marriages are initiated. Covenants are established. What fellowship as light with darkness. You see a man who is a professor. A man who has got several degrees. He buys tickets. Where, where is he going? I am going for age group meeting. Age grade. Age grade. All my age grade are gathering the village. And you are looking at this man. He's a believer. You are going for age grade. What will happen there? All my age grade. It's very important. Very important. You know? Very important. Very important. We have to. My peers. And at the end of the day, when they get into such things, you discover that they become bound they get into all kinds of bondages. Hmm. Some say, I'm a Christian, but I don't play with culture. 
I'm talking of events. So they go for cultural meetings where they give them what to wear. They tell them where to sit. They tell them things to throw, things to do. It's, it's very important that we care. There are some spiritual churches, in quotes, that people go to. They are initiation grounds. These are not churches. Um, the churches where they preach the true word of God. There are, there are some places where they don't preach the Bible, they don't preach the word of God. All they go there is initiation. Somebody gets in there, they'll give him egg, they'll give all those materials. We have to be very careful. When it comes to church, I'm, very, I'm a little bit careful so that people don't take it out of context. But I'm telling you the truth, there are some places that are nothing but just a, a conglomerate and a gang up, a guard in a deceptive atmosphere. We start buying materials, buying this, buying that, buy chalk, buy that. We have to be careful. You didn't attend the service, you went for an event, an initiation. I want to say to there's nothing again that attracts spirit husband and spirit wives like indecent dressing. Indecent. When you're a lady, you are wearing skimping clothes. You are looking for a spirit to marry you. You are a lady, you wear skimpy, skimpy, tiny. Some people have passion for nonsense. They wear skimpy clothes. They can't respond. A woman that's supposed to be a responsible woman will be pursuing clothes that teenagers are wearing. If you don't have taste, don't you have shame? You see them wearing all those clothes that are skimpy, that reveals. Can't you see? You are, you are dragging fashion with your granddaughter. Imagine gram, your granddaughter I say, grandma is dressing like me. So who should mentor who? Who should mentor who? Some young men, they, they, there's passion for eating this head dressing. Anytime, not you attract spirits. Sexually provoking clothes are not choices. They are not just choices. They are demonic attractions. When you dress and appear like that, you open yourself to being inhabited by spirits. When you wear things that reveal, you open yourself to being inhabited by... And the truth is this. There are people that experience spiritual husband. They don't sleep. Some don't have to go to bed. They can be wide awake. We have an encounter. Some ladies can be wide, wide awake and they see a personality come to them and have them molested. When all of those things happen, I've seen people who have been killed. A man of God was sharing the testimony. He went to preach in a church. He ministered on a Wednesday night. On Thursday morning, the host was supposed to be in the service. But the man of God was waiting. Nobody came to pick him. So he went to the service himself. He didn't see the host there, but the wife was there. Where is your husband? I said, my husband is supposed to be here. What happened? The man did the service. The husband was at home. When the husband, when they got home, the man of God and the wife got to the house. Met the husband on the bed. From the waist down, he couldn't stand. What happened? Normally, according to the story, normally the woman lies on the edge of the bed. The man lies inside, which is not normal. The man should lie down to protect the woman. So, he was doing like that for years. Twelve years, not knowing that once the man puts his back on the bed, he will have a dream that he's having sexual relations with his wife, not knowing it never happened. Twelve years, no child. That night, Wednesday, the man of God had preached the gospel. Power hit the building. So this pastor had gotten the anointing upon his life. So when he got home, as usual, the wife, the wife said, go inside. He said, no, you go inside. For the first time, the wife went inside grudgingly. The spirit husband that came that night crashed on the man, thinking it was the woman. From the waist down, couldn't move. The man of God that was saying this testimony said, when they were saying, both of them were talking, he was looking at them confused. Pastors? I know people who carry the Bible who say they are pastors, they are pastors' wives, who still have sexual intercourse. Whenever you have sexual intercourse in the dream, is a proof that there is a spiritual marriage that has been established. Today, it shall be broken. It shall be broken. It shall be broken. Every such spiritual marriage shall be broken. They are so bad, they can even kill spouse. Spirit husband and spirit wives can even kill spouse. They can take out a spouse. They can drain a spouse. They can kill a spouse. They are that deadly. Another way you attract spirit husband and spirit wives is through pornography. Once you are addicted to pornography, you are married. You are already spiritually married. You know, there are people that see themselves wanting to, have, wanting to masturbate. 
They lock their door. They feel an urge. It's not an urge. Anytime a man feels the urge for masturbation, or the woman feels the urge for masturbation, what has happened is that your spiritual wife and husband just walked in. It's not an urge. Whenever you are doing what you are doing, you are actually doing it with a spirit wife unconsciously. It's not an urge. A spirit wife just walked in. A spirit husband just walked in. And nothing throws away wealth, virtue, glory, like masturbation. So if somebody is bound by the spirit of pornography, it means there is already a marriage. Already a marriage. I, 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 one time, go, just go back on, and, and search and when I, the message I preached titled Deliverance. Search that me for that message. You are going to get a lot of things I said. The entry points of demons. But now I'm talking about spirit husbands and spirit wife. First Corinthians 6, 15. First Corinthians 6, 16. We see the Lord talking about what relationship as a, 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 a temple of God with idols. Once a man opens up himself to pornography, he's endorsing illegality, endorsing sin. Because the man and the woman that you are watching are not married. For you to be watching them means you are celebrating iniquity. A husband and a wife cannot come out to present him a, 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 a pornography. Those people you are seeing are not married. So watching them means you are endorsing sin and pro promoting. And you are attracting strength spirit. There are husbands and wives who sit and say, let them just watch it so that they, they, they can improve. You want to watch somebody else to improve. You are opening up an appetite in your husband, an appetite in your wife that demons will take advantage of. And you can't control it. So you discover that that becomes an entry point. Whenever you are doing that, you are open to abuse. Anyone that watches pornography opens up himself to abuse. Anyone that watches pornography is creating an alternative ideology. That is an alternative. So whenever you are bound, there are people today who are bound. I know people who have walked up to me. These are great people in ministry who are bound by the spirit of masturbation. Today, by the power of the Holy Spirit, whenever you hear the sound of my voice, as we begin to pray, I see deliverance manifest in your life. Amen. I see the hand of God setting you free. Amen. I see the yoke being destroyed. Amen. The power that says you can't get married. The power that says that you continually remain childless because of a spiritual husband, incubus, a spiritual wife, succubus. Today, as we begin to pray, the assignment is terminated. Amen. Their power is broken. Amen. They have gone too far, they will go no further. Amen. I speak deliverance upon your life. Amen. You will say these four prayers after me. Say, My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic marriage. Every demonic marriage. Every demonic marriage. Every demonic marriage. That I have entered. That I have entered. Consciously or unconsciously. Be broken by the blood. Be broken by the blood. Be broken by the blood. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every demonic marriage to be broken i break that marriage i break that marriage by the blood of jesus rakosi parigada rakakato barikata rakadadada rakashokete reketeke 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 rakosi kapilara in the name of Jesus. Amen. See my father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every manipulation. Every manipulation. Manifestation. Manifestation of spiritual husband. Of spiritual husband. Spiritual wife. Spiritual wife. In my life. In my life. Through events. Through events of the past. Of the past. I break it. I break it. I break it. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Ya <laughs> <laughs> 
Say in the name of Jesus. 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 Every foothold. Every foothold. Our spiritual husband. Our spiritual husband. Spiritual wife. Spiritual wife. Through pornography. Through pornography. Through masturbation. Through masturbation. In my life. In my life. I break it. I break it. I break it. I break it. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. See my father, my father. My, my father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every manipulation. Every manipulation. And manifestation. And manifestation. Of spiritual wife. Of spiritual wife. And spiritual husband. And spiritual husband. True family covenant. True family covenant. I break it. 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 Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. I Right where you are. Stretch your hand wherever you are watching around the world. Wherever you are watching around the world, stretch your hand. I command that spiritual wife, spiritual husband, that has held you bound all this year, right where you are, I break their power. Amen. Amen. Lose that woman, let her go. Amen. Lose that man, let her go. Amen. Come out of them. Amen. Come out of them. Amen. I break your power. Amen. I break your power. Amen. I silence your manipulation. Amen. Come out of my brother. Amen. Come out of my sister. Amen. I break your hold. Amen. I bind you incubus. Amen. I bind you succubus. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Amen. Lose that marriage. Amen. Lose that lady. Amen. That spirit husband that say you can't get married. Spirit husband that say you cannot get married. Today, I cancel that agreement. Amen. That spirit wife that says you cannot get married. Those spiritual partners that are fighting your fruitfulness. Today, I break their power. Amen. Come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Back your love. Go! Amen. Go! Amen. Go! Amen. Go! Amen. Go! Amen. Go! Amen. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood is against you. 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 You spiritual husband. You spiritual wife. The blood is against you. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Rakokopia la dasha. Lesike tagin kabako. Bregedosha. I see marriages liberated. I see marriages liberated. Amen. I see marriages liberated. Amen. Marriages liberated. Amen. Marriages liberated. Amen. Homes liberated. Amen. Marriages liberated. Amen. Children liberated. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The hand of God to touch you. Amen. I speak your freedom. Amen. I establish your freedom. Amen. I establish your recovery. Amen. I decree recover all. Amen. May the hand of the Almighty touch you. Amen. The hand of the Almighty touch you. Amen. The grace of God shine upon you. Amen. Be free. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Dans le nom Amen. De Jésus. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. I'll see you next Saturday. God bless you. Holy Ghost power. Take! <laughs>